All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to day 15 of I Read My Bible Today. Um, today, we are just going to be briefly talking about a verse in the Old Testament. Uh, if you're first, just kind of first time tuning in, basically what we do is we read uh, a devotional, Old Testament, New Testament, Psalm, and Proverb every single day. And then I just kind of come on and talk briefly about um, what I read and my thoughts. Um, you know, just on what I felt like the Lord was speaking to me or showing me, um, or just something that kind of stuck out. And today, um, you know, I kind of wanted to land in the Old Testament in the story of Jehoshaphat. And it's a specific kind of line that the Lord um, speaks to his people. Um, and it says this, I think it's on verse 15. Yeah. It says, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged by this mighty army for the battle is not yours but God's tomorrow march out against them you will find them coming up through the ascent of Ziz at the end of the valley that opens to the wilderness of Jeruel but you will not even need to fight take your positions then stand still and watch the Lord's victory he is with you O people of Judah and Jerusalem do not be afraid or discouraged go out against them tomorrow for the Lord is with you and I just I don't know anytime I see uh, do not be afraid do not be discouraged um, it kind of sticks out to me because when I was growing up and like playing baseball kind of my go-to first was um, Joshua 1 9 and uh, I just literally just blanked on it um, but it, it finishes with like oh it's be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the Lord your God is with you and so anytime I see this language of do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, or be strong and courageous, uh, or any you know kind of form of that sentence, I, it always kind of sticks out to me because I find it so interesting that we see this repetition in this language throughout the entire Old Testament, and we begin to see that God's message to his people over and over and over again are, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged. Like, there's so much more going on than you can see. And um, I just kind of had to step back and just kind of remember again how little we actually see of what's going on in the spiritual realm. Now, I'm not one of those guys that's like, you know, there's a demon under every rock and every single thing that happens is, you know, some crazy spiritual purpose. But I do believe that there is a lot more going on um, at one time than a lot of us realize and a lot of us see. And if we look back over our lives, a lot of times we would see that a situation, whether really good or really bad or even really mediocre, um, we can see God uh, working through all those things. And so I just come back to, you know, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged if you don't know what's going on, basically. Um, and you know, I really just kind of thought about this passage and I thought it was so interesting because um, I did a video um, last week that was, you know, it was like, just go and do the work, like be strong and courageous and go and do the work. And then now we're getting, you know, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. In fact, you don't even have to fight, just like show up and then I'm gonna show off. And uh, I think it's really important that we learn as Christians how to actually hear from God and understanding what that is like and being able to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us and through us and into us through other people and then receiving that um, and understanding like what is truth and what is not and uh, just learning how to be led by the Holy Spirit because you know if they go into that battle and they go and attack like things go sideways and they get defeated. Um, but if that's not what God said and God had for them to go and fight and he would prevail through them, then if they just went out there and stood like they're dead. And so it's a very like weird fine line, but I just reading that story, I think it's so funny that that, that can play out so many different ways, but you know, he tells them, Hey, like just go out and just be in position and I'm gonna do something crazy. And you know, they step out confidently and God shows up in an amazing way. And it's important that we be able to be patient and have faith to not do things at times. Um, but then we also need to balance that with hearing from God and understanding when he's leading us to do the work and to be practical. And, um, you know, so as we kind of go throughout life, like just really learning to hear God and understanding that, you know, we just need to be patient and do not be afraid and be courageous and 
allow God to show up and show off and either lead through us or go right before us and let us watch. Um, but anyway, that is day 16 of I Read My Bible Today. Um, but anyways, I read my Bible today. Have you? If not, go read your Bible, and I'll see you in the next episode.